I think this is an event more people should know about. More schools that have ag engineering departments should be paying attention and taking part in this event because this is truly a project where a student can test their engineering metal, M-E-T-T-L-E, -E, but also test some real metal, M-E-T-A-L, when they get out here and get some work done. When he interviewed at different schools, the quarter scale competition was one of the criteria that he used to judge the school that he wanted to go to. Now that we're in our 11th year, our major sponsors, through their participation, they're finding out about the quality of the students and the engineers that this competition is attracting. We've already got some really good students coming in, and when they come out of here, I think they're, they end up being even better, better people and better employees. When you see green and red and blue and yellow and orange working together, it must be an important deal. This is a big recruiting event for these, uh, for those manufacturers. They know the kids who come here are really targeting their careers for agriculture, and they're learning stuff, and they know how to do a job, and they know how to go take a project from concept to actual moving product. It's very exciting. We're kind of critics. It doesn't matter how good these kids do. We're going to give them a hard time about something on their design. And that's what the real world is. When you design something, it doesn't matter how good you think it is, somebody's not going to like it and going to pick it apart. You have to be able to stand up for your design or make changes to accommodate their needs. And that is a key critical important thing in these, in these young engineers. I'm going to school to be an engineer. You know, this is engineering from start to finish right here at a kind of a boot camp of engineering, if you will. You're taking this thing from, you know, drawing pad all the way to finished product and testing. So you're seeing the whole process work. We had a lot of problems with weight, getting our weight down. We kind of, at one point we could say we were pretty much broken and wanted to give up, and nobody let us give up. It's like, come on guys, y'all can do it. You know, make it happen, we'll get the weight off, we'll help you out. Every year I'm, I'm impressed with the uh, camaraderie among the teams. I mean, everybody's helping each other out, and this year is just is no exception. It seems like it's not a matter of if you'll have trouble, it's when, and everybody's there to give you parts, help you out with material, or give ideas on setting up for the track. The team that could be beating you will come over and you'll help them do a weld and they'll let you borrow a part and it's it's just the kind of the overall group effort that everybody puts in. I enjoy that a lot. I believe it's a lot of fun. You learn quite a bit. Working on tractors, just making, fabricating and, and learning designs as you go, uh, using past experience to help you in the future. It looks great on resume. Uh, employers that know this competition, they if, if you say they see that you participate in it, then they know that you are a little bit ahead of the game as far as knowing how to design. You know, you walk away with lifetime friendship so that's something like this so it's been a great time and if anybody out there is really thinking about maybe you know do i want to do this or not i recommend it it's a great experience to learn a lot love being down here it's a great time and uh looking forward to next year it's about the most real engineering experience you can get uh during an education 
So I wouldn't trade it for anything. I don't think anybody on our team would either.